What's going on everybody? Welcome to Game Freak. Today's video isn't going to be a real long one. It is going to be about the Duke Nukem cart and I'm going to test it in one of the Super Pockets. Now, I haven't uh, tested the Duke Nukem games at all in the Super Pockets, so this is going to be the first time. Um, the one thing I will give you a heads up, I am not going to test the Duke Nukem 3D because most people that know me on this channel know that I don't do uh, first person shooters because they give me instant migraines so you may have to test that one yourself I am going to test both the remasters of one and two on here so let's jump into this and see how it plays on the super pocket okay so as you can see here everything's really clean and crisp looks just like it would on your TV Except, you know, obviously a little bit smaller. So, you know, if you wear glasses, I, I recommend wearing glasses. I have to every time I play on these. You know, I love them and everything. I'm not bashing them. But they are very tiny. But I'm also a, you know, taller guy. And I have big hands and stuff. So, it just... I swallowed these things up but all in all these things play really good and the really cool thing about playing these things on a super pocket is you can take the super pocket anywhere that means you can play Duke Nukem anywhere I mean you can play them in your car you can play them on a plane you could even play them at your mom's workplace or a train or even at the office just don't get busted by your boss because you don't want to get fired for playing Duke Nukem. But regardless, it plays awesome on the Super Pocket. So, yeah, I could recommend playing both of these, the Remaster 1 and 2 on the Super Pockets. They play great. They look great. You'll have loads of fun. So check it out. All right, so that, that didn't uh, play too bad. It actually plays really well. The only thing that um, negative that I will say about playing on this is uh, you can't map the buttons. So you kind of got to just deal with what you're dealt with, you know. So, but, you know, the, the button placement on this, it, for these games anyway, not bad at all. Uh, luckily, you don't have to use these uh, shoulder buttons, the trigger buttons. But you can because actually if you hit... I believe it's uh I believe it's R1 like it'll fire your gun and stuff but you know these are real uncomfortable but other than that man it it plays really well on here um I do have to wear my glasses when I play because it, this is a small device so yeah works out really well so uh definitely give it a thumbs up so thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel a lot, and I greatly appreciate it. And until the next video, game on, everybody.